Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be doing a tutorial on how to install Windows 10 as well as the motherboard and graphics card drivers for this Skylake baby. Some of you have asked for it, so here it is. Check out the part one and part two videos on Joanne Tech Lover YouTube to get the whole shebang. I just want to preface this with, oh my gosh, please create your own ISO image and don't use the USB stick I bought off of Amazon. Just use the product key. The Windows USB stick is either buggy or I don't know what. The installation process kept freezing on me after use express settings and at just a moment. I tried so many methods of elimination to get Windows 10 to install via the Windows USB stick, but it was Rufus and a separate Kingston USB stick that did the trick. For those of you who haven't seen my Windows 8.1 installation tutorial video, I'll go over how to use Rufus with the USB stick. First, download Rufus 2.5 if you don't already have it. Next, get the Windows 10 tool by clicking Download Tool Now. In the setup, choose to create installation media for another PC. Select the language, edition, and architecture. Click on ISO file. I saved a copy to my desktop, which I'll move later. Windows 10 will then start downloading. Afterwards, click Finish. Now that you have the ISO image, open up Rufus and plug in a USB stick. Click the CD icon and select ISO image. Then hit Start, and once the process has completed, click Close. Let's get started on the Windows install. Leave your system off before inserting the USB stick with Windows 10. The BIOS will sense it once you turn your system on. Unplug the hard drive so that everything installs onto the SSD. Have a mouse and keyboard plugged into the PC. You'll need them to navigate BIOS. Power on the system and hit delete to get into BIOS. Set the boot priority if the process isn't automatic. For boot option number one, pick the Kingston USB stick. Hit exit and click save changes and reset. The Windows 10 install will start up. I'm going to pick the 64-bit option because that's what I have. Then click next once you've picked the language and time settings. Go ahead and select install now. Enter the product key, of course I won't be sharing mine. Hit next and click I accept the license terms. Continue on from here. Since this is a clean install, I'll be choosing the custom option where it'll wipe everything on the drive. Let's install Windows onto the SSD under Drive 1 Unallocated Space. You would normally click New and then apply for a fresh install. But since I've already partially installed Windows onto the system due to troubleshooting, pick the primary partition for the Windows install and click Format. Even using Rufus and the ISO on the Kingston USB stick, I ran into an issue. I was stuck at the partition step, and the only thing that worked was deleting all the originally created partitions from the install with the Windows USB stick, and creating new partitions with the Kingston USB stick. Windows 10 finally installed onto the new system, I was so relieved and happy. After the partition step, Windows will install and the system will reboot, and you'll be taken into the Use Express Settings screen. Click Use Express Settings and your system should not freeze. Next, create an account for this PC. I'm naming the system JTLPC2. After you've created the password, your new system will finish setting up Windows for you. It was a joyous moment for me when Windows 10 finally installed onto my Skylake system. Yay! It's time to plug the hard drive back in and format that drive. Once you're logged into the system, press the Windows plus X keys to get into the Power User menu. Go into Disk Management to format the 3.5-inch drive. Select the GPT option as it's the newest standard, and it's associated with UEFI, then click OK. Right-click on the unallocated space, and create a new simple volume and click Next. Click Next once more. Reassign a drive letter if you wish, then click Next. Format volume to NTFS. Keep allocation unit size at default. Label it JTL Backup, well, for me anyway. Then perform a quick format and click Next. Click Finish after that. Hit the Windows key plus E to see the new drive. Now let's install the motherboard drivers for the ASUS ROG Maximus 8 Hero. Plug in the USB stick with the downloaded drivers. You can get the most updated drivers from the ASUS website. Install the motherboard drivers first. Go into the Drivers folder. Install the chipset drivers first. Click Setup Chipset and run it. For me anyway, clicking ASUS Setup in any of the driver folders was a bust. I had to search for other setup files inside the folders. Reboot the system, install the Ethernet driver, and then the rest. I had some trouble installing the Ethernet and VGA drivers. Since I don't use discrete graphics, the VGA driver isn't paramount to have. But the Ethernet driver is a must, so I found a quick solution by finding a network adapter driver for Windows 10 on Intel's page. If you prefer to have all the correct drivers, you can connect an optical drive and insert the motherboard driver CD to install the ones you're missing. I also tried that just to be safe, and it's handy having that CD, but definitely check for driver updates on the web to stay relevant. Finally, let's install the graphics card drivers for the ASUS Strix Gaming Radeon R9 390. This went by smoothly enough, and yay, the resolution is on point. 
In case something doesn't install correctly, go to Device Manager and look for any exclamation marks next to certain devices, or if a driver hasn't been installed at all. Don't forget to get antivirus to protect your system, and be sure to get all the Windows updates up to date. That wraps it up for this tutorial on the Windows 10 and motherboard and graphics card drivers install on this Skylake baby. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle and JTL Cuteness Overload. I guess all that's left to say is bye!